What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Doyle back with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be breaking down two trades that helped me get over nine thousand dollars in profit. Um, these two trades actually broke my record. That's the most I ever made in a day. It was a uh, nine thousand. Um, the previous record was seven thousand, and it was on Nas again. Like I just be just every time with me and Nas link up, like it's always a vibe. You know what I'm saying? It's always just a little bop. But um, yeah, we went crazy Thursday, bro. I'm pretty sure you went crazy Thursday. If you watch this video and you trade supply and demand, you went crazy Thursday. If you lost, that's tough because we was in a group going crazy. I'm not gonna lie, like this was probably probably one of the best trading days I ever had. I mean, obviously this was the best trading day, but it just, it was other setups that was like very great and it was all hitting, like all USD had a back-to-back -back setup. GU had a setup too, like, it was like four setups and i'm just like bro and then nas had another setup after the setup that i'm about to show y'all today so it was just like four different setups they all won and i'm just happy that I, I chose the best one which was this one right here so um yeah i'm gonna break down these two trades hopefully y'all can get some insight on this and then we just gonna go uh in the video um but so I, before i get started though this week has actually been great um i lost on tuesday monday was a holiday i didn't trade I don't trade on Wednesdays. Uh, Thursday, um, which is this day, was the, the best day. And then Friday, um, I lost on NAS, and then I um, made it back and some with that uh, NAS demand that I uh, posted on Instagram. So uh, let's just get into it. <clears throat> so this trade right here had confluence with the 15 minute chart, um, a breaker structure, and the timing. Okay, so y'all gotta understand like the timing that setups occur matters. I noticed that I lose the most after 10.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I already talked about this on my webinars and stuff. Like, I lose the most after that time because volume slows down. Um, the move probably already happened. They already done grabbed liquidity and they already did their BS. So like, when I trade later in the day, I mostly lose. So I just noticed that when I trade in between like 8, 8 a.m. to like, 10 that little window right there it'd be the best setups indices or forex don't matter like i see the most setups and they be hitting the most during that time i just noticed after 10 30 i'd be losing no cap so um yeah let's let's just get into it because i'm just talking now all right so like i said this had a confluence with a 15 minute chart uh, and a breaker structure so i went to the 15 minute chart and i'm looking because at this point i mean obviously it wasn't down here it was pulling down and i'm looking like okay where could they stop could they stop right here on a 15 minute or could they stop right here on a 15 minute now you got to pay attention to the time because it's hard to take a setup right before the open because you don't know if it's going to take off they may consolidate before you get into the trade it's just a bunch of factors that's why I, I i usually like to wait until after the new york stock exchange open but sometimes it'd be a setup right there i just gotta take it and that literally what happened on friday like i took a setup right before the open lost they took a setup after one so it just you gotta take the good with the bad you know what i'm saying but um yeah so i was on a 15 minute and i'm and i'm looking at the candles i'm looking at the uh the demands that's um that's approaching i'm like okay which one is they gonna hold at now this one that's above it right here obviously it didn't hold but um the new york stock exchange open was like 15 minutes right after that so i'm like no nah, let me let me just wait so i draw out this 15 minute demand right there and i'm looking at structure too again st structure is key you know what i'm saying so right here we just broke structure and we had this massive drop right here so i'm also looking at what happened in the past so we got this massive drop broke structure broke structure again coming back up and now we're tapping into a demand so i'm just looking at how the market is moving because remember the market always have to mirror itself so let me let me do another replay mode because if i'm looking at this and i'm taking a demand this all of this makes sense to take it why because we have gaps that's literally un unfilled right here and they try to fill it in a little bit right here but they still have a little bit left so that would just make sense for me we got a um, market structure being broken and we got gaps to the left from previous days. So I like this, you know what I'm saying? Now let's go back to the five minute because we already got confluence with the 15 minute chart. Um, I really didn't look at the one hour like that. I'm not gonna lie. I just saw that we was tapping to a 15 minute and we was breaking structure. So that was that was enough for me because I already take my um, setups on a five minute anyway. 
So let's go back to the five. Okay, now this is still a five minute demand. So I'm like, okay, how can I make my zone a little bit smaller? Because I hate my five minute supply and demand zones to be super large. I love when they're smaller because I risk less. You know what I'm saying? Like when they're smaller, I risk less or I get in aggressive if they're like super small. So all I did was just do this. I'm like, boom, okay, let's just make it smaller because that, that gap still haven't got tapped into. Now, let's fast forward. Okay, now this is the open right here. 930, that's the open. I'm not touching nothing until like 940, 945. That's, that's literally it. I'm going to let it do what it do because at the end of the day, this could have very much got blasted through. And I and I, me personally, I really don't like trading at the open. So I'm like, let me just wait and see what it do. Is it going to hold? Is it going to do some type of rejection? And I need to see some type of wicks going away from my zone. So fast forward. Boom. Now, this was a great candle, a down up candle. I'm like, OK, like they might want to hold on this. You know what I'm saying? So I send it to the group. I'm like, OK, like we're going to buy. And as soon as they break that candle, we're going to get in. So let me put the the entry right there that was my entry up in my stop loss underneath that candle and first target always one one so boom that candle did that tp hit off rip and i didn't even leave a runner and this thing started going crazy i'm not gonna lie it started going absolutely nuts so again i'm gonna say it again 15 minute chart um it was a demand and we had a break of structure we had gaps looking to the left we had a big drop looking to the left and um yeah that, that really was it like this was just a great trade man and it's so crazy because it threw another setup right after you know what i'm saying like you could have if you would have missed this move you could have just waited you could just wait until they tapped into that another five minute demand you know what i'm saying for people that just missed that move people that trace to find it man you know what i'm talking about you could have just waited until it came back down and then you could have took that demand to go right back up it was just so much money to be made on Thursday. It's ridiculous. Like, if you didn't make no money on Thursday, bro, you need, bro, I don't know what you need, but you need something because it was just too easy, bro. It was just too easy to make money on, on Thursday. No cap. Now, that was that was a Thursday's trade on NAS. Like, straight up, just 15-minute demand, 5-minute demand, break of structure. We're filling in gaps looking left. It's just stuff that I've just been talking about. You know what I'm saying? So, let's go to all USD. Now, all USD... It's a little iffy about it because I just didn't like the structure of it. Um, I knew it was a downtrend. So I went to the one hour. I went to the one hour and I'm like, okay, let me look at structure. Let me look at structure. Again, I don't use uh, trend lines. Y'all can have trend lines. I don't use them. Um, but I'm just looking at structure. I'm like, okay, we keep breaking lows. Like you got to know structure. We keep breaking lows. Okay. Got low right there being broken. Low right there being broken. Now, right here. The low haven't been broken yet, okay? But we still, um, we, we got we made a new low, but we haven't made a new high. So we still following structure, but we still haven't broke this low yet. But this is on a one hour chart. So I'm just following structure. I'm not gonna think it's a buy until we break structure to the upside. I'm not guessing. I'm only looking at structure. That, that's literally it. I'm not gonna guess at all. So let's go back to the five minute. And we're literally just following structure. So right here put this back on right here everybody in the group like bro everybody in the group was looking at this all usd supply right here and i'm like hmm, this is looking really good like and then the candles that was rejecting from it it was just great so i got in uh like right here and i actually had my stop loss above because i was just so iffy about it i'm not gonna lie like i didn't have it like above the counts i had it a little bit above here and all I really needed was just a one to one. That was literally it. That was really, and it, of course it dropped more. And I could have took it. I mean, I could have held it to liquidity that was sitting down here. That would have been a good spot to get out. But um, I just didn't like the structure of it. Like I like clean structure being broken. Like yes, these are lows. These are lows being broken. But um, I just wanted it to be more cleaner in my opinion. But it still hit regardless. And uh, yeah, we just took that and, and we just ran with that. Um, some people was iffy about taking it. I was too. I ain't gonna lie. I'm like, bro, I don't know, bro. So like, you see how less cleaner this look versus the Nash trade. The Nash trade was way cleaner. So um, yeah, these two trades helped me get over nine thousand, man. Like, I wasn't even about to make this video. I was gonna like just drop like a um, like a weekly breakdown, like I usually do. But I was just like, 
why not? You know what I'm saying? Maybe this can help somebody. But uh, yeah, that was really it, man. Like this week was very, very decent. Um, I lost on Tuesday, and I lost one trade on Friday, and I made it back with the NAS demand. Um, you can see it on my Instagram if it's not already gone. But uh, it's in the Discord if you want to see it. But yeah, that's really it, man. Like um, it's just the same old stuff every single week. Like. You know, I, I just don't switch nothing up. It's the same thing. Supply and demand, break a structure. Where's the gaps? Where's liquidity? Like every single week, bro. Like no cap. So um, I hope y'all got some insights on this, man. Like this has been a good week, man. This is my last day in Detroit. Thank God, bro. I get to go home tomorrow. I got a flight in the morning tomorrow on Saturday. And I'm about to just turn up, man. You know what I'm saying, bro? I'm about to start doing more vlogs, too. So be ready for that, man. I got to talk to my cameraman, bro. Like, we about to turn up the content, bro. So, um, yeah, just be on the lookout for that, man. But that's all I got. Peace and love. I'm out.